Well, there are two problems that patients with moderate and advanced disease face. And those are dyskinesias, which are abnormal involuntary jerking movements, and hallucinations, where people see things that are not actually there. Both of these are highly problematic because they are highly related to the chronic treatment with the medications that we already have. So that if we could stop these side effects, we could actually use our current medications with much greater safety and much greater efficacy. Ideally, I would like to have established what is the first chemical reaction that takes a normal dopamine cell and starts it on to a cascade of abnormality towards death. And if we have that first chemical reaction, it will be a straightforward chemical engineering project to stop that first process. That's entirely envisionable. If we could stop the spread, we would keep the disease where it is. So this is really the opportunity in neuroscience for really cracking a primary neurologic disease. My main area of research is Parkinson's disease from both an experimental therapeutics point of view and also pathogenesis of what, how degeneration takes place in Parkinson's disease. One of the difficulties we have in designing experimental therapeutics is the fact by the time a doctor can diagnose a patient with Parkinson's disease, they've already had it for 10, 20 years. And they're really far along the line in terms of what's happened to their brain. So what we would love to have is a non-invasive or easy to obtain biomarker that says you are going to get Parkinson's disease even before you get symptoms. That way, once you start to get any symptom, we can start to intervene and address that particular symptom. So what uh, Dr. Shannon and I, and uh, with our colleague here at Russia, uh, Dr. Ali Kashavarzian, has discovered that biopsies of the colon has this misfolded protein called alpha-synuclein. So once we're able to demonstrate, as we are, that um, this misfolded protein gets spread from region to region in the brain, then the uh, idea is to try and block that spread. And if you can get to patients early enough, you should be able to stop or slow the progression of the disease. This is a, a very fertile area of research and may, be, may lead to that biomarker that we've been looking for for so long. One of the main areas that I am really excited about in our work is looking at why patients with Parkinson's develop cognitive symptoms. So we have brain scans that can look at how the brain anatomy and structure, what it looks like, how the brain functions, what areas are active, what areas are not as active in Parkinson's or in people who have cognitive impairment. And we couple this with a lot of clinical data. We have big data sets with clinical information, cognitive testing, and behavioral assessments, as well as even genetic profiles. And what we're doing is we're building models that combine all of these advanced cutting edge techniques as instruments so that we can look at um, not only on a group of patients but on a personalized and individualized level what someone's profile is and use that profile to be able to determine are they at risk for developing cognitive decline. I work on projects related to Parkinson's disease uh, with both genetics and with stem cells. The most exciting project I have going on right now is this project we're calling Blood to Dopamine Neuron. So in the clinic, we're taking a sample of blood from a Parkinson's patient, and we're taking that blood and moving it uh, into a basic science lab where a company that we're working with creates stem cells. So they reprogram the blood cells into stem cells, and then they turn those stem cells into dopamine neurons. And this is very exciting because the technology has just recently advanced and that we can take the dopamine neuron and put it into a test tube. And the goal eventually is to take that test tube and put those neurons back into that patient we took the blood from. This is not a cure for Parkinson's disease, but we hope it's part of a package that might help the patients My research term. focuses on improving outcomes of uh, invasive therapies for Parkinson's disease particularly deep brain stimulation, using uh, new methodologies. Um, so using genetic markers, uh, using uh, sensor-based mechanisms, and um, new ways of looking at cognition. 
those sensors give us data about a patient's mobility and um, their overall gait and balance function. And uh, it gives us that data in a quantitative way um, so that we can more accurately assess how patients are doing in regards to their motor function. I think the field is moving towards um, having patients wear sensors all the time. I hope that um, using these sensors, we can um, accurately understand and predict who will do uh, the best with deep brain stimulation and who will not.